Hi, welcome back. We are going to talk about the constraint layout in this topic, which most of the content it comes from the Android developer website. We need to have basic understanding about the constraint layout. Constraint layout is allow you to create large and complex layout with a flat view hierarchy. That means no nested view code. Whenever you use the constraint layout, only the view such as the button, text view, image view can be go inside the constraint layout. But the linear layout is cannot under the constraint layout because the rule is we cannot have any other nested view group under the constraint layout. This is some of the good size of the constraint layout is when you using the constraint layout, that means you don't have another view group that means you only have the flat view hierarchy then you will have the best performance for your user interface in order to create the user interface using constraint layout we must add the constraint to the view first this is the horizontal constraint and this is the vertical constraint so follow the rule is we need at least two constraints, one for the horizontal and one for the vertical. Let's take a look on the example C. You can see that the example of C only have the horizontal constraint but missing the vertical constraint. So if you run this user interface on your Android devices or the emulator, you will have see some of the problem. The C view will not be aligned right in here. So in order to make it work properly, we must have add a vertical constraint to the C view. Don't worry about it. Let's go to the Android Studio to check what is actually happened. Welcome to create a new project for the constraint layout. If you are using the new project by default, you will have the constraint layout as a parent group. If you don't have, just right click of the parent layout and change the layout to the constraint layout. Click OK. And wait for the greater finish building. After that, I will remove all the view first. And then I will remove the black cow color. So let's try to drag and drop a button inside the constraint layout. When you drag it, uh, you can see you have the warning sign there. And the studio warn you. That tell you to do to add the constraint to this view. If you didn't add it, you go, your view is not actually look at like this when you run it. So if you run inside the emulator, you will see different user interface. Let's try it. So after you run it, you can see the differences. It is clearly that the button is not somewhere inside this area because we haven't added any constraint to this view. So the UI is not working properly. So let's try to add some constraint to this button. First, you can see the little dot at the top of the button. Then we can left click it and then drag until to the uh, top of the layout and then here I can little dot here from the right hand side I can drag to the right hand side of the constraint layout so the warning is gone but this warning is for the string resources that we are not currently focusing on it you can check back my previous video video if you want to know more about the string resources warning so let's try and run again to check the button is located in the right hand side of the UI or not. So see, whenever you add the constraint for the horizontal and the vertical, then your UI will work properly. If I remove the constraint out for the horizontal and then we run again, 
then the outcome for UI will work, will not work properly. So you must have a one vertical constraint and one horizontal constraint.